What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's bite, I am planning to run through some very handy functions you can code aftermarket onto your BMW cars. Yeah, and this uh, this applies to all BMWs post 2006, I believe. So this is done relatively easy. It's a relatively easy way of coding uh, using two tools. One would be the Beamer code app. And the second one would be you would uh, have to buy one of these adapters which uh, is available on Amazon I'll leave the link to the app which is a one-time subscription uh, fee lifelong uh, the Beamer code and this this would be relatively inexpensive it's about I don't know 30 40 bucks I think Canadian so I will leave the link of uh, these two tools in the description all right so let's get started with the coding all right guys so as you can see this adapter comes with a nice uh, handy carrying case and that's the adapter for you and uh, there are a bunch of instructions which come along with it which uh, i'll make it easy and uh, give you these instructions right away so firstly you gotta keep the car on uh, either on auxiliary mode i would uh, suggest to keep it on aux the auxiliary power mode so uh, you know this doesn't affect the engine in any way when you're coding um, if your battery is not strong enough then maybe you, you could leave the engine on but I would strongly suggest not to just so that you don't mess up anything in your engine just in case something happens while coding right so that's about it and uh, there are a few things about uh, the uh, about your phone which I will uh, run through in a couple of minutes all right when we start coding so let's get the adapter connected to the car so guys I am currently driving the X5 the F15 model and uh, as you can see right near the the pedals you can see the the port right there that's the OBD port and uh, this is the adapter so with the scan code facing up you just go ahead and attach this in that port now as you can see on this car uh, i have put aftermarket leds they were bulbs uh, for the fog lights and the turn signal indicators so you can see the yellow little uh, code you know the warning right there which says there's some kind of a malfunction now using beamer code i can get rid of that so i'll show you how that's done let me just show you the error so if i go to vehicle info vehicle status you can see fog lamp malfunction because i've put leds in there so we'll get rid of that error right now by coding uh, using the beamer code app so guys as you can see i have downloaded the app beamer code it's right there so a few things you gotta remember before again connecting to the app uh, make sure the obd adapter is connected to the, the OBD or the OBD port in your car and secondly make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned off make sure your phone is on full mode or airplane mode so that there's no interruptions while coding also you gotta make sure that your yeah in this case once you connect the adapter you just hit connect is enable Bluetooth Okay, so yeah, the airplane mode turned off the Bluetooth, that's good, so turn that on. And uh, yeah, so one thing you gotta do, one thing good is uh, you don't have to do this, which just popped up, you don't have to go through here to connect to the Bluetooth, but you can go directly through the app and uh, connect to the OBD port adapter. So that's one less thing you gotta worry about. And yeah, it will give you a whole range of uh, BMW models. Just select the one which you are driving at the moment. In my case, it's the F15 X5. All right, so hit OK. So it will take a few seconds for it to connect to the, the adapter. All right, guys, so it looks like we are in. So these are the bunch of functions available for coding. So let's go one at a time. So let's get into the advanced seat belt. All right, so we are finally in. Now there are a couple of functions here which uh, you can turn off and I know this is a very popular popular spot for people in terms of seatbelt reminders and stuff like that it can get really annoying but in my case I'll leave the seatbelt reminder on for 
the driver. You can uh, turn that off if you <laughs> if you like. I'll leave it on in my case, but I will definitely turn the seatbelt reminder for the passenger off because my dog sometimes sits on the passenger seat, and uh, you know for no reason the seatbelt reminder keeps chiming. So, and he's not a one. He's not a dog who would like a seatbelt around him. So I'll turn that off. Uh, moving on, seatbelt indicator for the passenger seat not active. Okay, indicator for rear seats. I'll leave them off. Mm. Okay, this is the distance seatbelt reminder distance. So yeah, you can change that to uh, distance as when the seatbelt reminder is activated. So you can change that if you want to. Let me change that to 500. And the speed, uh, yeah, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers. You can change that. That's when the reminder will sound after you hit that speed. And the initial seatbelt reminder right after you start the car. So I'll leave that as active as well. So, so I think that pretty much covers it. I know this is very popular. As I mentioned, seatbelt reminder for a driver, you can turn that off from this spot. Okay. So let's code by the way. So as you can see, it's restarting the control unit and uh, the car will turn off and on and uh, you should be good. Next one on the, the list is the body domain controller. Now here is the bulk of all the functions I'm looking at in terms of coding allocated. So this will take some time to load up. All right guys, so let's get started with this. So we're finally in. Firstly, I, as you see, export mode on top of the screen. Leave that one off because there are a bunch of functions which uh, you don't want to mess with. So let's get started with the body control, body domain controller. Okay, so your uh, this is a hot favorite again. The auto start stop function. Some people find it very annoying. So if you want to, you know, get rid of that function, you can just uh, turn that off from here. Auto start stop function off by default. You can turn that to active. I'm okay with it, so I leave it as not active. But some people hate that, so they tend to turn it off. So you also have the function of, of, of turning it on when you go into eco mode. Convenient opening and closing. Active. Okay, convenient opening with remote control. Act. What this does is uh, with the BMW, if you hold the unlock key, press for about a few seconds then uh, it on a hot day like today it'll open up all the windows of the car and the sunroof as well so um, in this car it has four windows and the sunroof so it looks pretty cool uh, and it helps when you get into the car to dissipate the heat so you can change the timing of the windows opening driving mode default driving mode okay so yeah let's change this to default driving mode as comfort I want to start the car in comfort okay door lights when door handle lights which this car has when reversing gear is engaged not active you can turn that into active okay that helps when reversing to alert people around all right guys so we've reached the mirrors and this is another hot favorite and a few things which i would love to change here at the moment when you hit the unlock button and uh, your mirrors are folded in then uh, it doesn't open up on its own same thing when you lock the car the mirrors do not automatically fold in I gotta do that manually and I'd love to do that while hitting the unlocked button so let's do that right away so fold unfold mirrors automatically active so the mirrors are folded automatically when the car is locked uh, so that's that's pretty much uh, what I wanted desperately wanted that and the unfold mirrors when convenient opening so Everything else is active except for unfold mirrors when convenient opening. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So that is active as well. So we're good there. Voltage monitoring is where you go when you have flickering lights, when you're changing bulbs from bulbs to LEDs on your car on the outside. Some people in my car, especially, I notice there is flickering of the lights. And also, and as you guys seen initially, I seen uh, a fog light malfunction code which has shown up on my uh, iDrive, which I would like to get rid of. So that should be here, where I can change some functions and uh, get rid of the error and the flickering fog lights. Yeah. So this one is what I've changed. It's a 
was a brown light here which looked ugly I have to change that to a nice bright LED so I'll change that to LED and to get rid of the flickering uh, and the error I mean you have to also change this from active to not active so there's no monitoring of the fog lights warm or cold not active Alright, so do that and also I've changed the indicator front bulb to LED. Doing this should definitely get rid of uh, the flickering. Alright, that's code. Now I think while writing this code the car turns to turn off and on. I'm not sure it's gonna do that. Yeah, there you go. So the car does turn off and on. So I think we're good there. The next piece which I would like to change on this car would be located in the so I don't want to do anything with the transmission or anything else but the head unit. So there are a few things here which are interesting and I'd like to change. Alright guys so a few interesting pieces here which are some hot favorites which people like to change. The first one for me is the warning chime. I like to change the warning chime from the BMW gong sound to more of the classic Rolls Royce warning chime. That'll be pretty cool. So let's change that. The ringtone. That's when the, someone's calling you. I uh, change that to BMW I ringtone. Maximum volume while starting up the car. Yeah, 25%, which is okay. Uh, animation. Okay, this is when the car starts up. Uh, so you can change it to a whole bunch of things here. I'll change it to the M graphics when the car sounds, starts up. Uh, sports display is col the color. I'll change it to red. Video in motion. I've already activated this in the past, so it's uh, it's showing as active. So this will allow you to play DVDs when the car is running. Um, now um, most of the VMWs it's locked the function. Video via, via USB. Uh, Okay, let me turn that to active as well. Warning at startup. Okay, this is again something which I had changed. So this is already showing non active. The, the warning message this is a hot favorite which people like to turn off. The warning message when you start the car is a BMW warning message which is a little annoying. So you can turn that off from here. But that's about it, guys. Uh, let's hit code. And uh, yeah, the, so the coding is complete. Let's get out of here and see what else. Uh, roof function center, acoustic confirmation, alarm systems. Uh, roof function center. Okay, I think uh, for today, I should be we should be good with the, the coding. I think those were the ones which I was really looking forward to changing, and we've done that. Let's see the the result of our coding now. All right, guys. One important piece of information: uh, when you're done with coding, make sure you get the adapter off all right disconnect the adapter or else it'll tend to drain the battery of your car so guys the first function which i really really looking forward to seeing is the lock and unlock we just coded so let's just hit the the lock button and there you go you see the mirrors folding in that used to not happen earlier so that's great and let's see the unlock Oh yeah, there we go. The mirrors folded back out. So that one was the one function which I was really looking forward to. Let's get into the car and check the other ones out now. So there we go. You could hear the, the gong. That's the Rolls Royce gong. It's uh, no longer the BMW chime. And now let's see the error. Let me just put the window back up. So you can see there is no error which is showing up. There was a smaller little error which was showing up there, which is not showing up anymore. Let's get into the vehicle info to confirm if that error has gone away. Yeah, I see all systems okay. There's no error right now, which is which is good news. So yeah, I didn't see the uh, the warning message which usually shows up. Didn't show up right now. And when I turn to sports, yeah, it's red instead of orange earlier although it still looks the same to me but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it i guess most of the coding did work but the ones i was really looking forward to were the error off and the flickering uh, of the lights let me just double check 
back. Let's get out quickly and check if the lights are flickering with the fog light on. Okay, as you can see, the, the light is on. Uh, the fog lights are not flickering. The other one is just because of the camera. It's not picking up the lights properly. I don't see it flickering, but on, the, on screen you can see some flicker, but that's not happening. If you look at it uh, in real, the fog lights were the ones which I was concerned about. They are not flickering. So, guys, as you've seen, the coding was uh, not very difficult. It was very easy, and uh, it's easily done. Just needed uh, the the Vimeo Code app and the OBD scanning tool. So, if you like this video, do give this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, please feel free to comment if you want to see something else in terms of coding, which I can probably research and uh, help you guys with and also share this content with uh, anybody interested in uh, coding their BMW or anything uh, auto related if anybody's interested in this kind of content please go ahead and share and help this channel so that's uh, pretty much it for today guys